Hello, Lori Michelle with an Ask the Mashiach question. Is our world more dangerous now than ever, or is it exaggerated by media hype? I've been asked this question several times over the years. Come on, Lori, isn't it just the same as it ever was? There's always been murder, always been war. There's been some horrific wars in this world. Isn't it just the same as it ever was? But we now know about it because of the media and social media and our smartphones, and we're inundated by the news all the time. My answer is always the same. It's worse. We're heading to world war, and most people don't want to face it. They read about it, they read the scriptures, and they read about the war of Gog and Magog, and wow, these are the end of days, and it's like a sporting event. They're not really taking it seriously. If you're listening to this, maybe you're starting to take it seriously. I hope you are. But most people have their eyes sewn shut. And I've asked Hashem, I said, I don't know how to get to them, Hashem. I'm putting this information out and I'm putting the most intelligent, clear information that you need right now. And most people are either mocking me or ignoring me. A few people are starting to pay serious attention. And several of you have read my book but not in the numbers that it needs in order to do its work. This book has cracked the code for you, the source of evil and how to eradicate it from our world. It took me three years to write, and it sounds like I'm just bent and determined to be a famous book author, and I wanna be the Messiah of the world and a rock star, and that's false. Anybody who knows me knows that I don't want any of that. I would much rather buy a ticket and go watch you. I don't want to be a rock star. I want to be a mom and a grandmother, and I want peace for my kids and for you and your children. And I cracked the code. Hashem, God, King of the universe, gave me answers to questions that have confounded rabbis and scholars all over the world, and I wrote it the same way I speak. Plain English, plain speech, nothing flowery, very direct. And your eyes are sewn shut. Most people are just unwilling to take a flyer and read my book. It examines every single thought that comes into your mind because unwittingly you don't realize you're feeding the negativity that's going around the world. And you might think, ah, who are you talking to, lady? I'm a good person, I'm a good Christian, I'm a good Jew, I'm a good Muslim, I'm a good person, I'm not part of the problem. But I'm not trashing you, I'm trying to wake you up to help you understand that there are things you don't know about yourself, about the world, about how it's all wired and how it all operates. There are people who study what I'm delivering to you in a succinct book that's just the beginning. There are people who study this information for a lifetime and aren't able to put it together. It's like a messy jigsaw puzzle, and they have a little of this and a little of that. Rabbis, learned rabbis, and they don't know how to put it all together into one cohesive explanation, and I did it. I did it with the help of God. I could never have done it on my own. We don't really do anything on our own. We do things and they're our responsibility to do, but he helps us without us ever realizing it. He's involved in everything. But there's one thing he will not do for us. He will not bring world peace for us. World peace must come through us. So I'm going to ask you a question. 
I'm going to ask you about the 176 people who were blown to bits last week. Have you moved on? Have you thought about that number? Have you thought about if your child was one of the 176 souls who were blown up over Iran last week? How would you feel right now? Would you be saying, things are just the same as they ever were? You know, I can't do anything about it. It's a beautiful day. Let's have a barbecue. No, you wouldn't. Can you go there? Whoever you are, can you go there right now? Can you think about whether you would feel just happy and just move on and let's have lunch and what are you doing for happy hour this Thursday? If one of your children was blown up in a plane like one of those 176 people, they were people who were once born as little infants, just like your child if you're a parent, or just like you. You were a baby once, and you were placed in your mommy's arms. That's who was blown up. But it becomes just a number, just another flight that was blown up. Ah, there's nothing I can do. Let's just move on. But it's a whole lot different when it's one of your own. And Hashem warns me to warn you that it's going to happen in your backyard. And that, sadly, is the only thing that will wake most of you up. Your eyes are sewn shut. You won't listen to me, an intelligent American mom who woke up to an incredible gift. And you're scoffing at me. Many of you are still mocking me. And I wonder, what do you get out of that? Why are you mocking mommy? What do you get out of that? Why does that make you feel good? And that is my point. People who mock other people for sport are engaging in evil. And evil grows like a wild weed. And if you pour enough oil on that evil, it becomes nuclear war. And Hashem has warned me, it's coming. And it's going to knock you to your knees if you live through it. And you will be humbled. And you will want to learn the reasons why and how to stop it. How to heal this world and bring world peace for everyone, forever. And this is the beginning. This is the beginning. 540 pages that I wrote, my story, my life, my way, but also explanations from God himself, putting all those puzzle pieces together into one cohesive story all of us together as one united family working for world peace. We will find peace in this world, but we need to eradicate the problems from ourselves. I've cracked the code for you. Will you take it? Will you read it, digest it, and let's come together and heal the world? God bless you. It's time. Peace on earth in our time. God bless you.